it doesn't really read here, but one of the things that's really interesting that's, that's mm -hmm. important to know about uh, color when you're studying is that uh, colors have different gamuts and like understanding how color gamuts work where you can see how like the blue green is like mm -hmm. really short. It's only got like four layers in while the yellow goes like way, way out and the yellow red goes way, way out. Um, yeah. That like different colors have different kind of depths that they can achieve. Mm. That there's just not lighter or darker versions of certain of certain colors that the amount of like um, value and saturation range that you can get out of different colors is different based off of their hue. And so as you move mm -hmm. around the color wheel, even though Photoshop shows that like, oh, the color wheel, it just moves around here. And then there's this triangle that fits in the same each way that as you move around here, that the um, space that actually fills this triangle is actually warping quite a lot. That yeah. our perception of some of these colors is a lot more limited than others. Understanding the mm -hmm. gamut is like really, really important because like you realize that as you're like choosing colors and painting, like you don't get to choose every color. Every color does not exist sort of equally on the spectrum. They mm -hmm. all kind of maintain like their own discrete space and that they don't all behave the same way. And so this is one of the reasons why I really like using something like hard light when I'm adding color is because it like lets the color kind of bring in its own qualities into the mix rather than um, relying on, uh, mm -hmm. rather than being like really strictly attached to the values. Like if we were to take this black and white photo and try to convert it over into color, like a lot of the, there's actually, when you take a color photo and turn it to black and white, there's a bunch of different ways to do it in Photoshop. And they all actually result in slightly different values because there's mm -hmm. not a pure way to translate color into value. Like color into black and white is actually a fairly relative process because the value spaces of colors are, are all a little different from each other. And so when you try to compress them down back into the same space, you end up having to sort of round things off in all sorts of arbitrary ways.